Cause you know I'm a deliver Every single time I'm a long term winner You couldn't survive in a stone cold Daddy need his north face or a new liver I'ma need a new place to be a believer You feel like a new face the same Oh, that's yeah. another podcast episode 70. I think it's 75. Four. Four. 75. Four. I think it's 75, bro. Oh, we're starting to forget. We're getting up there. Hey, that Strippers. Hunnish show got to be lit. <gasps> Strippers. Right. Let's do it. Really? For what? We get a thousand fucking subscribers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I oh, can't yeah. pay for no strippers. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe, please, for our YouTube channel. <laughs> Thanks. Ping your friends. It's 73. We're 73. No, we got to be past 73. Yeah, we're 73, 73. bro. 73. Just another podcast, episode 73. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Bing. Clubhouse, what up? It's the first time we're doing this. That's Best it. show in the 7-5. We're going to keep it short and simple. Should men submit to their woman? Is that a problem with women wanting their man to submit to them? Oh, shit. Here we go. Should, should, should men submit to y'all their woman? Y'all want me to go into it? I don't, I don't think there's a problem with men submitting to women. I think submission is about strengths and weaknesses. Y'all already seen me talk about this. I think it's about knowing where you lack and submitting in those areas to your partner. But be specific when you mean submit. Um, to concede, um, to follow. Like if, for example, if she's a good, great cook and you're just not that good of a cook, so you fall back on that. Aspect. You fall back and let okay. her and take let her take the lead in that area. Yeah, Even with chores, say y'all y'all split chores or whatever, and or duties around the house. You know what I'm talking about. Is that real submission? I think it's submission. Like when um, you're willing to learn from her as far as cooking and she's teaching you how to cook and she's you're following her. I think submission has a negative connotation. It does. Oh, yeah, for so sure. The other, your idea of submission probably isn't the, the ideal of submission for other people. Like a lot of men, a lot of women don't like a submissive man or a passive man. They Mm-mm. want a man that can take charge. Right. But they can lead. Yeah, and I was about to say the definition of a leader is knowing how to divvy up roles. Correct. And that's that's low key sub that's low key submission. Like if I'm the leader of this team, I am submitting to Abe because I trust him, and I'm submitting to him in the area of videography and and taking pictures and, or working the camera. I'm submitting to him in that area. So you can be a head, but you don't got to, you know, I think people see like, yo, he the head, so he he do everything. No, I'm the head because I know how to I survey think, my troops. I Yeah, but that person still has to make those decisions. Yeah, I think submitting exactly. comes to the decision maker. Yeah, you might be able to cook better than me, but I'm, I'm allowing that. That's where people get messed up with the submission part. If you want to be technical, women allow you to lead. That's, yes, that's the point. And we, I was saying that like maybe a couple episodes back mm-hmm. that that's a strength that that women like bypass. Like that's a strength. That's that's you showing your your alpha self mm-hmm. in that relationship, For sure. allowing your man to lead. That, that's a big strength. That and I think I said this. I don't know if I said it on this show, but I know I said it to one of y'all. I think a man nowadays, men don't show enough strength in that regards for women to trust him enough to submit. Right, like you got to yeah. do something that makes her be like, "All right, I could follow him." Yeah, you in order to and lead, you got to give something. A lot of short on that. I yeah, think. you sat down on the couch. Yeah, for sure. I be dropping gems. Oh, pick that up. Wow. Yeah. No, that's that's <laughs> and and I, and I and I was thinking about that earlier today. I'm like, yo, why do when, why if you can't trust your man to lead you, why are you with him? Facts. Like at all. Like we said about hotels, y'all tell us the pussy has power, but you keep giving it to niggas without him. Right. Oh, pick that one up too. <laughs> oh shit! They all the so with submission, I think submission's more of like a, a trust thing. To be honest, on a deeper level. As a man, do you have to earn the right for your woman to want to sure. submit? Yes, to? for sure. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And I think some women get themselves fucked up because some women are submission submissive by nature, and that's cool. But they yeah, will submit say for sure. To definitely, there. Who let this nigga not talk? okay? And then that nigga is gonna lead you. Down the fucking path of destruction, right. and that's and where we get themselves. Lydia needs up. the headphones think, for, the, for this so she can hear them. And me. Lydia, you know one thing I think, I think that's what messes up women with submitting because they do it to the wrong people, like Kadeem was talking about. Like never again. But I think a lot of women put put value into the wrong things. I don't think they know how to identify a real man to a degree. They kind of just say, "Oh, he." Go makes- ahead, Katrina. Get your shit off. I can hear you. He makes whatever amount. Go ahead, Tim. Oh, we got people ready to talk in the Trina, clubhouse. What's up? Go ahead. Okay, this is my It's hard to submit because the woman that you're submitting to doesn't understand how to submit. 
Priest, did you drop a gem over there too? Those are bars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Tim, you had some, bro? No, I'm just listening, man. I'm just listening to the gems, man. I'm kind of intoxicated from last night. I seen the turn up. <laughs> I seen the turn up on the gram. Birdberry to the socks. Man, you know, BB all the way. That's all I do. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Clubhouse, what up? We still going to keep it. All right, bro. I told you we're going to do something different in 2021. We're going to the moon, God damn it. Yeah. Um, keep I think at a certain point, though, you just got to ask yourself, like, if you're submitting to a man and he doesn't have anything to offer, what's the point of submitting? Mm-hmm. And as earlier, somebody asked the question, like, you know, do you feel like, I, don't, I might be pushing your question, but I apologize. Uh, somebody asked the question, if you are submitting to somebody, like, if you're in a relationship with somebody, how do you know you should be submitting to them, basically? Well, you shouldn't be in a relationship with Put you on game, yes. Mm-hmm. I can kind of just be feminine and be the woman, not taking away any power from being feminine because there's a lot of beauty um, in being a woman and being feminine, being soft. But at the same time, there's also a lot of. Hey, yo, pick up that gem you just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's real. That's that's 100% correct, yeah. 100%. comes with accountability. And, and I think it comes with accountability and understanding uh, feminine nature and embracing it. Um, but accountability is the biggest word there. A lot of people don't want to take accountability and want to point fingers. And I think it zeroes back around to what Liddy was saying. Um, a lot of women pick the wrong men a hundred times. And then when they get a good one that they actually can submit to, they don't, they don't even trust themselves yeah. to a degree. They're like, oh, that. shit, like... I can't pick a good man. I don't know how to pick a good man. So it's. I think a lot of the trust goes to the other person. But then after a certain degree, at a certain point, that you start to distrust yourself and your own decision making to the point where you're like, shit, is, is this the right dude? Or is this the right yeah. person in general? I wanted to add something because um, I read somewhere or whatever the fuck. So I, don't, I don't remember where I got this from. But I do remember I that there are five specific areas <clears throat> that a person needs to feel secure in with another person for things to be okay. Yeah, safety. In those areas, you have to, it's a spiritual security, a mental security, emotional security, financial security, and physical security. Mm -hmm. So I would say to women, if he's not checking all five of those areas, that's probably not the one you should be submitting to. Right. 
And I think that is the definition of providing. I think we have minimalized or watered down the definition of providing to just financial. Also, I want to piggyback off what Lydia just said. Women pick and choose like one spot of those five traits to submit to. Right. Like, women will submit to the physical, like, oh, he has bomb sex or whatever. Oh, or like their well dick, I guess if you can say that. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just saying, women will submit to that one part and wonder why the rest of the shit is falling apart. Yeah, I agree. And um, and then it, it honestly, I think we both help each other, like men and women help each other raise the bar in those areas because when men or young boys see that women are just are giving up their essence, I'll say it like that, to dude who just has the bag, then that's what young boys are going to aspire for. They're not going to aspire to grow spiritually, mentally, physically or whatever they're, they're just gonna go get the bag any way they can because they know that women are they i can get i can get a girl just because i got the bag it's not i can get a girl when i'm mentally and emotionally intelligent right Yeah, and that's and but I think that's that's I think it just it repeats the cycle because our issues are causing us to separate and then we don't have that reference point of a relationship to look to because people sleep on I think uh, people sleep on those first seven years of your childhood or whatever and what you get to see as far as your mom and dad are concerned. And now people aren't even seeing moms and dads. No, for sure. That's that's by design. Family, so right. They don't know how the man is supposed to interact with his wife or his girlfriend or I always say like the best thing that I'm doing for my daughter is simply by being there. Like even if her if it's her looking at me and being like this is what I don't want or this is what I do want. At least she has something to look at and be like, yo, uh, something. And I think yeah. that a lot of things that hurt women, and this is just from my point of view, so I'm gonna talk about women. But I think a lot of things that hurt women is just the fact that they don't even know how to live with a man because they didn't get to. Because yep. some people's fathers just went around. I think this is a great time to move on to our <laughs> next topic, which is what are some important things that you learn from elders about marriage? Facts. Mm. Right. No, that's that's real. That that it could not even mean that. <laughs> no, it could for just real. Be it. For real. True. And then, uh, and then, that, what what Kadeem said, what Kadeem said is correct. Be, getting like to show that you get money is the easiest thing to fake. Like you can fake and act like you getting money. <laughs> I think the next topic we might do is on this high value. Bet. Let's get there. Go ahead. We're going to have to take a brief intermission. We want y'all to be on the audio. I plug it up. We good? Um, well, I got to cut real quick. And then... Well, they can still hear. No, they can. So give me a second. I just got to reset. They can okay. stay on the chat, though. Y'all stay on the chat. We got to reset. We're trying to get it to where we, they're going to be able to hear y'all on our episode that we're going to uh, put up. Oh, look at that. Y'all oh. are our, our, our guest stars. Hop, scotch, and all over these niggas. Kick rocks, baby. Let me count my figures. You know I'm a deliver. Every single time I'm a long term winner. You couldn't survive in a stone cold blizzard. Daddy need his All right, guys. What is a high value? We'll start with men first. What is a high value man? What makes a man high value? Because if everybody's been watching Kevin Samuels, he's been having a lot of uh, viral clips out 
A lot of women saying they are seeking a high value man. His definition of a high value man is a man that makes ten thousand dollars a month or more. Well, <laughs> <laughs> there, there goes that train for me. <laughs> even if you, it, <laughs> I'm about to say, you even say you'd be with him forever. <laughs> even if you make uh six figures, you're not making ten. Well, it depends on like what kind. On the if you're making a hundred thousand, you're not. Yeah, you're, you're not. making. Right. Two hundred, right? Well, this is what. I, so this is the real question because he always says high value, but he doesn't. That doesn't mean a man has high character. So mm-hmm. for most people, say you do make Pick that, it up. huh, Jim? Oh, thanks, bro. I didn't mean to drop that. That's one. all right. <laughs> um, for somebody that in the last year was doing that, I don't think that increased my value or decreased it. I don't think it really affected my value at all. I think I'm a high value, high character man. Even before that, mm-hmm. but you're, you're a jerk, though. I'm a jerk. I'm just playing. That's possible. It is possible. Why you think me and Dame cool? We ass I, I thought somebody said definitely. I was like, damn. And, you know, I might be a jerk, but I think I'm still a good dude overall. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, but that's. But when the women call into his show and they're speaking about a high value man, really they're all talking about a dude that could take care of them, Thanks. a dude that could help them in their situation, a dude that is financially stable enough that damn near she could stay at home if she wanted to. That's what makes. No. But is that the only reason why somebody would submit to you because you make more? No. But let me add. It is, and that's what we was talking about in the the last topic. What? Let me. Y'all tell me what it. What's y'all definition of taking care of a woman? Like, what's the definition? Putting a roof over her head? That's subjective. It is very subjective. That's That's very subjective. All right. So my my idea of taking care of a woman is like. Going back to piggyback off what Lydia said, you got to take care of those those areas for mm-hmm. a woman. You have to carry, you have to cover all bases for that. Mm-hmm. You don't just take care of her financially and then be a dickhead to her emotionally. That's not taking care of your woman. Mm-hmm. So, to my idea of taking care of a woman is her making sure she's straight mentally, emotionally, physically, mm-hmm. making sure we're 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 having that time, we're having sex because that's that's a that's a but thing. But this is too. the question: If I make that kind of money, I don't got time for all that shit. It's a hard thing to juggle when you're. Uh, yes, it is when you're getting to the bag. Now I gotta, I gotta watch your emotions, emotions too. I'm telling y'all, that's a lot to work with. But thank you. That's a lot of work. You, you. First of all, you want me to pay for everything, right? You want to be in a situation where I can take care of everything else and your emotions, and your feelings. It's not about taking care not of. Them. It's not about. Okay, it's not about. It's not about taking care of them, but it's it's more so about being attentive. Yeah, being attentive, assisting, maintaining, like it's her job to take care of her emotions. But it 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 is her Right, that's what I'm saying, assisting. But No, I'm I would I would say that person that but that person your piece is not my responsibility. It's not. I can I can help you maintain it. I can help you when you're when you're uh when you're falling short and I see you you're not maintaining it the way you should be. So that's that's what I think that's what I mean personally. I'm just going to say what I mean. Um but I think we need to broaden the definition of taking care of somebody. And I just I'm asking because that is the definition that's floating around on the internet right now. A high value man. It don't. He don't. They never talk about real characteristics. They just talk about where he is professionally. He might not have any kids. Well, in that, in his definition, he doesn't have any kids. He's single. He's a black man doing very well for himself. He's the pick of the litter. He gets to choose, and people are looking at it like, I'm telling y'all, this is what I'm seeing. It's only about what he makes. Okay, Kadeem. Let me ask you a question because you have a daughter now. I do. So you can ask those questions. I do. Do you just want your daughter to go get a, a six figure nigga and he and he's busy making his money and she's not spiritually mentally taken care of? I wouldn't say that, but to that question, if so, these women that are asking that they don't make that either, or some of them might, but then they have other baggage. So it ought to, it's it's a very it's not something you could just be like do, she, do I want her to go? I do want her to have a dude that can can hold it down like I hold it down. Mm-hmm. But I also you know it's weird because we try to teach our daughters to be independent. Mm. But you also there there is a balance to that because being independent will get you one way. But if you look at how women are now, a lot of them aren't happy because they got to do everything they're, by themselves. They're out of their nature. I think they're out of their nature. Yeah. So why do we teach women to be independent? Because there's not a 
not a lot of men out here that are worth that much. And this is a black woman, black man thing. Mm -hmm. Because I don't, I don't think white women say the same shit about white men that black women say. Like, hey, there's not a lot of men out here worth blah blah blah. That's the niggas you've been dealing with. Yeah, I don't don't know what white women and white men are talking about, but we don't. But I'm, I'm pretty sure if she made a hundred thousand and I made sixty eight because I was a carpenter, she wouldn't look down on me because she makes more. It's the fact that we're not, we're not the same. (laughs) <laughs> like it's just I think we gotta get out of that Like we gotta get out of these foundational loops we're in Where we think we're the same We're not Men and women aren't the same I agree By with Chris. nature they're Chemically they're not the same I agree Like a woman is gonna naturally start to look at you like she, you're her, you're her son Yep that's, yeah. Chemically That's the makeup I guess I've never been in they're that situation They're not made It's hard for me not, to even what, and like we, me For you, me it's like why do women even fuck with those kind of dudes because they like to be in that they like a lot of women aspire to be men to they be do so they like to be in that uh in that role they like to be in that role where they have something where they have uh where they're over a man they like that some women like that that shit ain't rolling over here y'all do some yeah a lot of men a lot of women do do that no that's that's true wait Right. And Katrina, y'all are y'all are y'all are survivors by nature. Y'all are y'all gonna do what y'all need to do. When y'all see there's not a lot of men out there, y'all gonna fill that void. But right. that's not to say that y'all are gonna it's not it's it's not gonna be beneficial in certain areas. You do might we really feel like there's not that many good dudes out here? Yes. No, no, that's 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 a lie. By by those definitions that she said, there might be some dudes that cover three of them or two. But what girl covers all ten of them? Right. But that's the thing, people are looking for a perfect person. There is no perfect exactly. person. Like, exactly. If they're lacking in one area, they may make up for the yeah. next. Right. And the purpose of a man and a woman to get together is to partner. So where I'm lacking, my husband pretty much picks up for where I lack. And it's, where he lacks, I pick up. That's part of the partnership. Yeah. That's why when people only value the financial aspect as a way of supporting, it's not going to work. Because what happens when the money run out? You have no substance to your relationship. Right. Mm-hmm. And like, it, I think compliment is the key word. Like money We're made to compliment each other. What'd you say? The money ain't running out. <laughs> we're, we're, but, but what she's saying is correct. We're made to compliment each other. But that comes through differences, and we have to embrace those differences, and we have to embrace people's true, like, the true nature of a man and the true nature of a woman. You have, you have something you want to say? The true nature of a man and the true nature of a woman. So, what? What you got? What's a high value woman then? Oh yeah, okay. Because um, if the definition for a man is X, doesn't that mean, especially if we're partners and you're my equal, right. that means you have to be bringing what I'm oh, bringing. Not equal, but I agree. Equal. I agree with y'all. I'm just the I host know, of the you. show. I'm the know. devil's I advocate. You. I'm just saying. I think that a if I was value woman, go ahead, would be someone who, like Katrina said on Clubhouse, out of Clubhouse. she about to list a whole bunch of characteristics. No, when when the, the definition out here right now is black and white. Like, yo, I you make say, this, you bring I this. Say, yeah. I okay. Say. I was gonna say, Don't list a single characteristic. I was going to say, I think a high value woman is the woman that at the end of the day, when he comes home from whatever he's been doing all uh-huh. day, I can take care of your mental. I can refresh you and send you back out into the world tomorrow in a better mental space, ready for the world. I'm going to be real with y'all. 80% of the time, you're stressing us out. <laughs> Facts. But no, I, 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 <laughs> no I, I agree. I agree with what Lydia said, though. Right. But if women would. They would just listen. We're easy. Facts. We're very, very easy. Just listen to what we're saying. And suck a dick. But you know what's I mean, crazy? See, you, you do you got know what's crazy? Right, yeah. <laughs> just like we got to eat the box. But, it, I mean, that, that goes hand in hand. The more we high value throw, I am, the less I got to eat the box. We don't throw sex out of here. Hey. What? Hey, I'm just saying. Okay, that, we, hey, I think that, we get that's, enough that's sex true. talk. The more I that have to true, take. Man. All right, look. Why do most relationships fail? Because of money. Because of money. Thank you. So if I'm bringing in the most thing that's going to keep us banded together, you know what's crazy? I should have to do less on let's other just, ends. Let's just talk about why money is so great. <laughs> and I, no, 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 no. First of all, no. I'm not lazy. I do all. The, I do all the things. Hey, I'm, I'm rolling. I'm let's rolling. talk about but, why money is so great because ahead, it, it helps us build an environment for us to be us. Right. Honestly, right. 
Like, you can't be yourself. Like, if you had bills Enjoy to pay, you would, yourself. nigga, you wouldn't even worry about being Kadeem. You were about making some money. You're going to do whatever you need to do to make money. Right, Same right, thing right. with her. If y'all are stressing about bills, I she can't be. Those things were synonymous. She can't. They might be, bro. Uh, my bad. <laughs> but <laughs> when you don't have that environment and that enclosing, I'm that 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 safe environment that you have to make in this society with money, then people just can't be themselves. They're out of their wits. Yeah. They're out of yeah. their, their true selves. If you, if you take care of your needs. Yeah, if you take care of the finances, I'm I'm lifting the heaviest burden in our relationship, basically. So, mm-hmm. see, you know, to a degree, that's that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 That in the society, it. yeah, that's that's 100. So, I'm I'm asking y'all because the whole question was that, so that does make me more high value because I can handle the the biggest component of a working relationship yeah. in the modern era. Yeah, and it's it's dependent. It's dependent. It ain't about farming back in the day. It was like who can go out and get the crops going. Right. Mm-hmm. Provide more. That no, way. now I just buy the crops. Right. Right. And and I think that's dependent upon the woman and the man. Like you're going to be the right man for a certain woman. I agree with that too. Certain a certain woman or a certain woman that only wants like a two bedroom crib and it's only about $200,000 and she just wants to maybe Go out every now and then, and what you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. she's so, she wants a she's she, Amish. not Amish, but she wants a certain she wants a certain <laughs> a more modest lifestyle. She might not, right. she, she might not need that. She don't want cable, and I think, but I think <laughs> cable expensive, bro. I, I cut the cord, and now and I think about it, I'm like, bro, I got Hulu, I got Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN. That's Facts. 18.99 for the mm-hmm. no ads. Mm-hmm. Then I got Showtime, HBO, Stars, Facts all again. in the individual. <laughs> they still running me up. Mm-hmm. Prime video. Facts. That's another one. Yeah. But we, that comes with Amazon so Prime. we stopping at what Lydia said as far as what makes a high value woman? <laughs> what? Are we well, stopping at what Lydia said as far as what makes a high I'm value just, woman? I'm asking because I don't, I think for men, if you're a man of high value, you don't really look at your woman to, she don't need to bring that. Really? And, and, and this is in his his regard. And, and really, if, if you think about women that are chasing dudes that make that kind of money, what do they look like? How old are they? Do they have kids? That mode is different. So for a guy that's like, oh, I'm doing this, and I got a family, it, my, my, my needs and wants are different from a single dude that makes 250000 a year. I might just want me a young tenderoni that, you know, gets it popping. Right, and, but you would say that Caitlyn is high value to you, yes? Yes. But for other reasons. So what are those life. reasons? Why is she high value to you? What is it that she does for you that I was going to ask you that. As you value? being... Well, as I'm you cut! Up. <laughs> as you... Hold on. As you being... <laughs> A young man who makes a certain amount of money, and you are classified by that definition as a high value man. Clap that up for me. What's your definition? What are you looking for from a woman? Yeah, see, this is. I just want a girl that fucks with me. I just want a girl that rocks with me. We like to take it deeper than that, bro. No, but that's really when I'm looking at it. Like, does she really like me? Fuck everything I'm doing. Fuck money. Fuck all that shit. Does she fuck with me to my core? Mm -hmm. Does she like like the shit I like? Could we sit in a room on a couch and not have none of this, and she still fuck with me? So for you, it's companionship. Yeah, it's not even about like your value doesn't help me. The more you make, isn't gonna make me more. You're not bringing. I'm not helping you save money so you can put it in my pocket. That doesn't benefit me in the in the in the slightest. So I'm gonna take care of what I'm supposed to, and I'm gonna try to uplift you while I'm doing it. But me uplifting you don't. It ain't what what it ain't uh, what it, oh, the tide raise old boats. My boat's what, gonna be where it's at. What are you getting out of it? Are you getting? She's the mother of my child. She gotta make sure. I gotta make sure she's straight. So you just getting children. No. That's what I'm saying. What are you getting oh, out yeah, of it? I mean, we're, we're having a good time, bro. We're we're growing in love. You're getting cheeks and kids. We're growing in cheeks love. Cheeks and kids. This is <laughs> I mean, no, but for real. That. <laughs> that do sound like a fire mixtape. Facts. But that does not sound like a fire <laughs> mixtape. It does. Cheeks and kids? <laughs> Ain't nobody buying any You're wallin'. To me, I, I feel like uh, what Lydia said is what makes a woman high value, to be honest. if you, and, and I'm just saying this in, in the measurements of... A high value man because if he's providing all those things, you need a woman that's gonna keep keep but your household you peaceful. Women take- that, that are being taken care of like that, they know my job is where when he gets home, I'm supposed to diffuse the day, suck some dick, and send him back out to get the bread when <laughs> when he leaves. No, for real. It's, it sounds wild. It sounds wild. No, it's how you, the how truth. That's, that's the truth. That sounds on, glorious. Huh? That sounds glorious. No, I'm saying like, right. but dudes of that caliber, that's wild, what they expect. I don't right. expect her to do it's too right. much for me. The more, the higher up I go, the less I need from another person. For okay, real. and if for you, you're gonna pick a woman that has a good head on her shoulder. Yeah. So she could be counsel. She could yeah. be somebody you so bounce, you bounce build, ideas build off, off of. Yeah, yeah. seventy percent of it is just diffusing the day for me. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would say counsel too. I think a lot of women serve as counsel. They, I think women have a certain eye for certain things, and they can uh, point out certain things 
No, I'm for real. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking. Something. Like as you as you walk, okay, as you walk through this life as a man, and you're looking at providing, you're looking at the big picture all the time, and you're focused on getting it for your family. She can ma- help you maintain your steps. You know what I'm saying? Like it's women. Like honestly, I don't, spiritually, women have a certain eye for things, and they can feel things that we can't. And I'm not saying we don't have the ability to, but we're too concerned with all these different things. So certain women, women can see certain things that we're not even really concerned with, that, but can help. And I think it goes to the help me thing. It, it, def- it definitely goes to the help me thing. It, it, I know some men that won't even go in the house. When they get, when they, like, oh, they'll, they'll we've all done that and sit no, in the driveway. Bro, sit in the fucking driveway. Some women, like, some women do that too. No, yeah. no bullshit. You like, have to. They, That's you how you decompress because you, you might wanna, go in the house on some, right. some bullshit. Because you know it's a war waiting for you outside in front of the door. Like, soon you open Not the healthy. Shit, See, it's uh, another fucking war. Yeah. yeah. And I think it. I think that falls on both parties too. Like, men have to keep the peace too. Yeah, 100%. I do not want it to sound like. Caitlyn doesn't bring anything to my life because she's going to watch this and feel a ways and I don't want her to feel a ways. She is valuable to me, but I don't look for a woman for those things. I don't I don't need those things from nobody. Okay. So it's different when you're when you're at a certain place in life. It's like I'm already taking care of myself. Mm -hmm. Who can I build with? Now, our relationship, mm-hmm. you know, I've talked about it very candidly on here, has formed in a different way. So we're growing and matur- ma- uh, maturating in love together mm-hmm. as as we go through. We're, we're learning each other still. So it wasn't like mm-hmm. a, it's not your typical pattern. But you're always, you're, you're not alone. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're no, but I'm alone. saying if we, most people like, y'all knew the person you're with for mad long. You, I We're still getting to know each other. Hey, bro. But it I'm not trying to be corny with it. But Go ahead, be corny, bro. But no, but like for real, as years and months pass, the, you're changing yeah. and you're learning. You're I'm you got to keep up with that person. And I take on the great daily. pride in being a type of man that if a woman's around me, I can help uplift her and put her in in different positions. I take pride as a man. I feel like that's part of my job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't look for the woman to really do none of that for me. But we, you know, we figuring it out how. What makes work works best for us? We're mm-hmm. still figuring right. that out. And that's, so that's, and that's key. On that. I was about to say, but is this nigga about to break down? That's, that's, but that's key, though. <laughs> Bro, I don't know if y'all, I told y'all, I don't cry no more. It's yeah, weird. I, I feel really <laughs> detached. As I was looking, I'm like, is this no, nigga about no. to cry? So we're defining, we're defining a high value woman as somebody who takes care of home and keeps, keeps a peaceful environment. Yeah, I can take care of Why are those two different? See, that's what I'm I don't fuck with that. take care of my outside. No, I don't fuck with that. If you're a high value man and you, it's based on what you make. I feel like it should be the same for women. You can't be independent women. So I take care of myself us, all day. Guns are blazing. That takes us to our uh, right, topic right. of are women ready to play the money game? Right, this is I think that's way. a great. I think that's a great topic. What does that mean? Women are in more prominent positions now. Yes, more, and more. What we're t- and when we talk about women here at the Just Another Podcast, we are predominantly talking about black women, black women. for mm-hmm. the people on the clubhouse. So what Chris is saying is most black women are more educated. They're bringing in more money than their male counterparts. By design. By design in the system, yes. But that is the reality. Yes. And there's a lot of bitch-made-ass niggas. Mm -hmm. Wow. Damn. That Don't say niggas. My bad. There's a lot of of (laughs) effeminate men out there that seek out women to replace mom. I'll say it like that. To take care of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. My I, real question is why do we, well this is about the money game first so we'll get into that and then I'll ask why do women still be with those dudes? That's the part I never understand. Why are you with a guy that doesn't have a car that has to borrow your car all day so you can tell us later how he was taking the car to the other girl's house? I I give. Right, go ahead. Mm-hmm. That is not a woman's role. Like I want to help him get to or they see potential that he don't see, so they want to help him out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's one of the that's one of the components. A lot of women feel like they want to feel like the solution to a man's life, and I think that's another play on being mom. Your mom helps you get bro. to a certain point in life, and it's just that maternal that maternal instinct. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, I'm 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 agreeing with that that maternal mm-hmm. instinct. But another thing is, for example, what is one of the things that you see? Cause y'all both have daughters, but mm-hmm. you, I mean yours yes. is a little older. So a what is little. one of the things <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot older. But uh one of the things that your daughter does with her her toys is what? Yeah. Carry it around like a baby. Oh, right. That's, early. That, uh, early. They're, they're, that's their, their, Shit their, irks my their soul. thought 
early, like, oh, this is my baby, this is my baby. So early on, they're mm. they're aspiring to be mothers or, or right. aspiring to take care of something. Right. Yeah. So I think that develops on later on in, in in women's lives, and that's a lot of relationships are like that. They want to take care of something, and I, I guess a lot of women get stuck in that position. I think yeah. as we blend and as women start to uh, possess a lot of the qualities that men have, or as far as providing and mixing that with that maternal nature is going to be problematic because there are a lot of men out there who don't have a good example of what a man is like they just have mom so like you move out your mom house Mm -hmm. you seeing all these black women that are doctors lawyers they got money they got their own crib and you got some dick to give them because women do want dick and it's like you know what I'm saying? I can feel that void for you. It's no, but no, but dead ass serious. No. Dead ass, no, dead ass serious. Because I'm taking it to a place where, like you, you don't need much. Home these lawyer, these, these lawyer, it, these bro. doctor chicks, they don't need much. The only thing they're missing is some some natural dick. They tired of the plastic little shit. They like shit. I want somebody hold me at night and give me some dick. And there's a lot of dudes who like shit. And that's the I bar. got you. <laughs> like, and that's the bar. And they bring like them mama. in and then they shit on them. Eventually, like all things, if your girl is super fine. Shit, that shit wear off. But I see what he's saying. Like they take him in and then they complain about it. Yeah, you complain. So what do he you, can't do this. You, he can't do that. He got my car. You, do that when you, got you picked him. Right. Well, that's a dumbass. Your that's fault. dumb. Ass complaint. On our first date, you picked me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, I'm like, uh, hello. This shit ain't about to change. It's not. Your car is nicer than the one I could buy myself. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna use yours. I'm taking your car. She got the 2020 Altima. <laughs> I think it goes back. That goes back to women feel like they can change people. And then it's just like, yo, that's what your mom did to you. They nagged. Hey, nigga, clean that room. This shit smells stinky as hell. What are you doing? Hey, you gonna get, don't you got to work today? When you going to get a job? Oh, my God. Your mom did all that shit. See, I, see, to me, I feel like women got to do better at identifying that type of dude. You don't need that dude. They know, but they know. Every it. dude has a dick. They, but they know it. They, they know it. Every dude. People, lie to, them, want, people lie to themselves that's every okay. day, fam. <laughs> That's that's a that's a truth that, that needs to be heard. Women want a Sometimes specific really like dick. Said, looks at him like a project. Like, oh, I can. This topic has gone all, all the way to the left. Something. We didn't talk about money at all. No, not at all. Good. You guys are okay. I don't. Well, well, back reeling us back into the topic. <laughs> this I don't is a think terrible clip. I don't think women are ready to play that money game. Where they where they get dudes that are just like y'all just want need you for the for your money or I was just using you for your money or whatever. I don't think women are ready to play that's that. That's what game. you mean when you say the money game. Yes, because there's dudes out there that seek out women that are in prominent positions because they have no place to go. See, I read it like, let's split this fifty fifty. Fuck what you make. In that too, because you're not just gonna go okay. work a whole full time job and you're not taking care of the home and you're not gonna pay no bills. The only woman that's ready to play that game is the woman that's making more. If the woman's making the woman less, that's making more is gonna shit on you, even if you're you're saying. good. That's what I'm saying, but if the woman's making less, she's not ready to play that fifty fifty game. No, 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 no. You take care of everything while I'm underneath. Well, if I'm making forty thousand or fifty thousand, and you're making a hundred thousand, no, no, no. You have the the brunt force of these bills that come in, you know and what? I'll help what I'll help what I can. Wait, you know what though? You know what I think could be a way to like alleviate that? If like, okay, yeah, she makes more, right? But what if they take his check and that pays all the bills and her money is fun money? But that's not. Like but then, then, but then, psyche, she'd but be like, okay, he's still taking care of the bills. So I gotta put it on my page. No, but then it's that's still like page. women are still gonna. I, I hear what you're saying, but women will still find a way to complain about. Oh, he doesn't take me out on dates. Motherfucker, I'm paying all the bills and I don't make as much as you. So now you're taking me out on a date. Go I think it, I really do think <laughs> that the order. Excuse me. I think order is vital. I really do. I th- I think as long as we're out of order, I don't think it's gonna work. I'm not gonna speak for everybody's relationship. I'm just gonna speak for the the majority of us because I see a lot of people. Uh, I see a lot of women that make more with men that make less or that are not in good prominent positions, so and eventually it stresses them out, regardless of which right. way you spin it. So you wouldn't, you couldn't date somebody who made more than you. I could, but could I deal with a woman? That makes more more than me. Have I seen a woman handle that gracefully? No. I haven't seen no. Because the first the first moment you try and throw some shit in my face like that, it's gonna come down to okay, you want to do tit for tat. I can slap shit out of you and take all your money. Damn, Chris. No, because that's what it (laughs) robbery. That's what that's what what it comes assault. It comes down to nature, dog. Like it really does come. It comes. It comes down. But it comes down to. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
No, I just want to, I want to know where that came it from. It comes, right? but it comes down to nature. It's about being physically imposing. It's about being able to physically go out there and conquer. Those areas are what keep us in that certain order. Like, you make money, right? But somebody can come in here and take all this if you didn't have me. To oh, a degree. Uh, so, you're yeah. You're yeah. yeah okay. So it's like. God damn, I think it's I think it's just no, but you. But it comes down. It really it really does come down to that. I think we co- overcomplicate things. Uh, y'all go ahead, take. <laughs> Nikki, you said I can smack you. Take all this shit. You did action, but I could though. That's what I'm saying. Crazy. I do I do agree with Chris. I don't know if women and we're like I said, black women handle it as gracefully. Like say I'm handle like this is my my always my thing. Say I put somebody in prime position. You don't get equity in a relationship as a man. I don't get, oh, you spent X on her. You did this for her. You did that for her. You were down while she was, you know what I'm saying, building it up. And now she's hit a lick. She's making money. If she does pass you on that, she don't look back and be like, no, I wouldn't be here without you. She starts looking at you funny. Right. I think we, I think I disagree with the equity thing. I think if you invest in the right woman, you can come out with something even if it's just her. I hate when y'all, we're talking in generalities. Y'all is the right one. I got to pick the right one every time. A lot of us ain't picking the right one. We we're not. So right. sometimes the right one ain't doesn't exist. Sometimes the right one switch up when the money switch up. She was right until she was, she was right. making more. Right there you go. That's what I say she doesn't exist because now that person that person that you knew those two, is those, gone. Those are two different scenarios. And we, she was on the humble when you was blowing the bag on her. Right, and now so it's the other way around, least, and she's not treating you right. I'm I'm agreeing with that. So what what piggyback off Kadeem? If that person that you think is the right one, when she's not making. What she's making, what she, say she's making less than you, and she has all the characteristics that you're looking for, that makes her the right one. Now she passes you, and all those characteristics start to dwindle. Is she now the right one? But why do they dwindle? Because she's making more. She's making more. Her why? time has been divvied up differently. Like that's what I'm saying. The, the whole shit. So that's when it's a man. No, I got to take care of her mental well being. This, that, and the third. But when she starts making more money, those no, things I agree. Fall I'm to rolling with y'all, too. but I'm asking y'all why I would just, a woman? You know why? Why would a woman's mental change when she starts making more than you? That's what I'm saying. It's just out of order. I think it's just out of, I, So you don't think women should be in the workplace? No, I'm not saying <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke. I think that's a joke. <laughs> I think I no, but honestly, I'm a, I'm gonna answer that question. I think I think women have been bamboozled <laughs> into it is a trick. to yeah, thinking that their power lies in some niggas corporation. For sure. Like it doesn't lie there. You can blame Playboy and Cosmopolitan. It do, it's not there. Auto magazines. And I think that we sleep on a woman's true nature and we um we take advantage of it. I think that's what kills it. Men t- took advantage of women so women saw their own nature as an unsafe place so they evaded it. They left it. You know what I'm saying? They left that place. It's not safe no more. Niggas ain't take niggas ain't appreciating me being the cleaning the house, cooking, sucking his dick, all that shit. Niggas still go out cheat, beat me, do whatever kind of shit cuz they feel like they got it like that. And then we okay. got to leave it. Okay. That was good. We didn't talk about the topic like we should have, but I, I don't think women are ready to play the money game. I don't. I, I'm gonna answer it. I don't think they are. What you got, bro? The last one was supposed to be materialism versus Ooh. liking nice things. Shout out to Lydia. She has a brand called Nice Things. Go up there and cop something. Oh, there we go. There's the support. Shop nice Aww. things clothing.com. Oh. Nice things clothing. I'm proud of you, bro. Cool. Go hug your go hug your cousin after no, this, bro. That'd be a good moment. That's a it wouldn't. I'm cool. Come on, don't, don't do that. that I'm cool. You want to hug her? I don't. Much better. He, wants, he wants to hug you. I know you. Yo, you're crazy. He he She's insane. He, he wants to. Hug you. She's insane. He does. I, it's a no, smirk. He, <laughs> said a good job he just did. All right, all right. You know, he just did. I feel better. People need a good attaboy. Guys, come on, guys, guys. Material. You know what? I'm gonna just do this. I'm proud of all y'all, man. I'm proud of you. I don't want that. I'm proud of you. Congratulations, bro. I'm proud of Elliot. I'm proud of all y'all, man. Thanks, All right, let's back to the topic. Materialism versus just liking nice things. I think you should leave this one. I should because I get caught up in this all the time. People think I'm materialistic and I don't know why. <laughs> just because I like shit. You don't know why. I'm yeah. not saying that you are. I'm just Bro, saying that you don't have no idea why people would think I don't that. get why. So this is, my, this is always my thing. <laughs> you idolize the nigga that posts it online. Yeah. The same people that would call me materialistic go to the Gucci store and post that they're at the Gucci store. Mm-hmm. But I just buy stuff and wear stuff and I'm the materialistic one. No, you feel some way about yourself, so you're putting that on mm, me. I was just about to say that, bro. I have on a T-shirt that costs X no. that you don't even have the brand name on. 
But if somebody else spent this on a T-shirt, it would say it all over. And now, now, Come on, now, man. I get you. Now, you're 100% Relax. right. You're 100% right. But you can't see why somebody would think that. No, I don't. That's crazy. Y'all don't, y'all don't never. You're smart. When, I, when, you, I, when you, I get uh, on I, Kith and I buy the whole run, I don't post it. Like, yo, we just you blew did. the bag at Kith. Did. That's a materialistic, somebody saw narcissistic okay, 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 trait. Okay, okay, okay. I think that your side is a very detailed, nuanced deeply inter, inter, intertwined into your character. Like, you like, you talk about fabrics and threading and all kind of shit. Thank you. So I think you yeah, you like it. That. You we like it. That. We know that. But on the surface, when you talk about those things, it's just like, it can sound a little worse. Like, you're just talking about shit that you got. That, but you love the niggas that talk about shit that they got on because, record. Because I'm confused. Because there's, I'm a regular no, Joe. No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you why. Because, I'm not a regular Joe. We went back there. I'm not. I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you why. Because we're alone now. I'm I know. She's you, like, all right. Material. Because I hear that. Um, people idolize those people. They don't even see Quavo as a person. They just see him as a celebrity, a thing on TV. People can Jacket come up to fire. you, talk to you. Hmm? They don't. Jacket fire. They don't know. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Mm-hmm. The pick pick getting them flames though. Nah. Hold them. on, let's see which one it was because I didn't. But I didn't, let's, see. Oh, let's see. No, I think it's because you're closer. People look at you as their peer, so they're like, "He's material. He's materialistic or whatever, whatever." People are going to be intimidated more by you because you're closer. You know what I'm saying? They can, they can, and I think there's a mystery to it because a lot of people are not into stocks or investing money or how Kadeem makes his money. People know why Quavo has what he has because they support it. They actually invested into why Quavo is where he is, and they understand that he's just a brand. He's on TV, da 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 da. da. Mm -hmm. And they actually, and that's, and and I can, and I'll go back to what Kadeem is saying because they'll rap the lyrics that all them niggas talk about is what they wearing. Mm -hmm. So it's like they feed into that, but I think it's a problem because it's (laughs) it's your friend. It's somebody who's there right beside you. Right, right. So it's like you're going to feel intimidated because this person, oh, shit, we came from the same family tree and this motherfucker got this. So it's like they're going to try and they're going to try and water you down to whatever degree. They're going to try and say you're materialistic, you're you're whatever. They're going to try and say whatever they can to bring you down to them. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel intimidated. Word. It's no, but it's like me. It's like me having a twin, and me and my twin Chris coming out, and me being a failure, and him going off and being highly successful. I might feel some kind of way about that because, like, yo, we came from so the same. But and then you can say that for the celebrities. The celebrities came from the same shit you did. That's what I like. Care. Most of them came from worse. Mariah Carey was fucking homeless in a car. So I, I, I get what you're saying. This is hard. People. Yeah, it's hard to yeah. like. It's hard to like connect it. But that's they're all I can say. I think just they just other people. Yeah, but that's how we've been programmed as a society, not just us in this room, but that's how we've been programmed as a society to see people or to idolize people crazy. that are on a platform that mm-hmm. we aspire to be. Some some people might aspire to be famous when they're when they're younger. Like I've had people in grade classes were like, "Oh, what do you want to be when you up?" And their answer is famous, not mm-hmm. not a job, just famous. Right. <laughs> so, that so, is the problem. Really, the question that's really more of the problem than any of this shit because it's like people. I always say this: people would rather look rich than be rich. Yep. And people would rather like look a certain way than actually be whatever you're aspiring to be. Like you said, famous. That's not a job, fam. That's not a job. I mean, now I guess you can monetize it, but then most of them don't even know how to do that. There's a lot that comes with fame. I never wanted to be famous. No, I, no, I never. No. Wanted. Even if the pod pops off, I still want to be like uh, yeah. D-list out here. Who said uh, the shit? <laughs> I want to be able to go um, somewhere. Nobody knows. Nobody. nobody that, that's that's a luxury that yeah. That people, people don't get that like, they don't. They, they don't get that anymore. Like, I would love Seems to be the person nice. that's making a, a good amount of money, like a great amount of money. You don't know it. I can walk through the airport and have Our old camera guy recorded Rev Run backing out of his space. I don't know where they was at, but I was like, bro, why are you recording this nigga in the parking lot? See what I mean? Yeah, that's you weird. can't. Yeah, because people worship those people. I tell y'all that. And, and I sat worship next to the president, and at first they, he was a regular white dude to me. They worship him, bro. And, dang, I forgot what I was going to say. Y'all continue. Oh, damn, he is president now. He did sit next to the president. I did. You yeah. did. You got a prison with the president. The president. But, I think but when I sat down, he was just. I'm telling you, until I realized people was reaching across me, I was like, "Who is this nigga? What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> but even still, yeah, you probably like, weren't like Biden. starstruck. You was probably just like, "Yo, I don't believe in that being starstruck." He's just an. All those people are just regular. Other than like niggas in the NBA, they're like seven feet tall and can walk without tripping over their own feet. They're all regular. You could do what they're doing. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants. Everybody wants to be LeBron. You can't be LeBron six nine. Two sixteen. You know what I mean? You but you could be Maverick. Yes. You could be Rich Paul. Yeah. Yep. And they get into the bag. The the bag bag. And Ooh. unless you meet, I I think I seen Maverick in the airport once. That's the only time I really like. And I didn't go up to him like, oh my god, it's Maverick. I just was like, oh shit, that's Maverick. What's yeah. up, bro? Now that's that's the people you need to be. Interested yeah, in. I'm interested in that. The behind the scenes nigga. I yeah. want to being famous, bro. Tell me, niggas, niggas taking pictures of you. I guess some oh, yeah, people bro. like that. That's not something. You can't go anywhere without. We're supposed to be talking about materialism. In your face. God damn it, we it can't. Falls in the materialism. I, but I for, uh, I think his voice said it. But it's that line. I know we all know it. But he said, um, I'm not grind. I'm grinding to disappear. Saying I'm not. I'm not grinding to, to be seen. I'm grinding to disappear. I forgot That's what that word. But uh, no, they're not. No, they're not. I think every everybody's grinding to be seen. More yeah. More well, there, see, there's layers. I always talk about this. Like when you take a, and I'm not trying to diss nobody because I would love for some some of these niggas to come on the show. You talking about like a money bag? Yo, he posts all the money, all that stuff. My favorite rappers don't do that. They are the ones that disappear. Yeah. Kanye went to Wyoming. <laughs> yeah. Drake yeah. kind of disappears, but he pop up when he like, I got some shit coming for y'all. But I'm gone. And then out. Yeah, uh, Jay Z is gone. Beyonce dips. They are gone. I think that applies to what you're saying, just because a lot of people wear certain shit just to be seen. Because yes. you'll spot, well, you'll spot a certain Kansas, like if if Elliot had if Elliot's hoodie had like a LV on it, we'd be like, you know, people will perk up a little more. They'd be like, what the fuck is that? I ain't see that shit. What is that? Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's the same. It's the same hoodie. I know you would probably argue that shit. <laughs> I was about to I say, knew he was is, about it self- is, is it no? Is it double threaded? No. Is it cashmere? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying though. Like it's the it's a hoodie. Hey, it, it, hey, it, tell him about that Dior hoodie. See, is no, it the no, same? See, this is why. <laughs> See, and this is why. No, is it the same? <laughs> but, see, look, right, so look, that, but this is exactly no, quality is hold different. On, hold on, hold on. That's how you know so that you if, like if, if somebody, was I don't wear the LV mask because they don't make those. If somebody was just walking past the room and they just heard how you perked up, up like they don't know that you really. Did y'all love see the picture of this Dior hoodie? I didn't. I didn't no. see it. I'm just saying, but they didn't. They, they don't know that you like really like like the fabrics and fashion. They don't know that all they heard was this nigga was just yelling about an LV hoodie. I'm like that nigga, all, all he care about is materialistic shit. That's that's how people can. Oh, hey, well, no, he said. Excuse me. But no, I'm. I feel you, but hey, I'm man. not. There's niggas that are really wearing the face mask, and Does they got LV face masks. They got LV. Louis Vuitton doesn't make face masks. They don't. I can't wait to break that. I've been on their website. Unless that jacket <laughs> suck your dick or some shit. I'm good. I can no, find I mean, a some, jacket. I some of the materials they do be. Even with like, well, but the jacket will get your dick sucked. I'm about to say, I'm about to say, it some could. of the materials get your dick sucked. <laughs> I, exactly. I swear, I was about to say it that. could. See, some of the but stuff that girl's material. It, well, the dude might be depending right. on who the dude is. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, shit. Tell me them that shit that hit hard. different. That is hard. Oh shit, I ain't gonna lie, that's hard. But I was about to say, there's other things that you, can, you know, what I mean, there's other things you can get your, you can get your dick sucked. Other things that can do we that don't for look you. Like Chris you can, you can wear, you can wear regular stuff and get your dick sucked. That's a fact. Hey, bro. I think the stuff I'm wearing is regular. I remember when we used to go to the mall in high school. Not. Niggas it is used to get regular. dressed up. It's not. Everything I have on today is regular. It's not. To you. It's Maybe not regular, see? Some people don't even know what Kip is. So it's they're, not regular. They're missing the boat. Okay, okay, they are, but that's not regular. What are they missing, bro? Tell us. Speak you, from you the, felt, the, you felt speak, the <laughs> speak from the side of I like nice things. No, what are people look, come on, man. Ronnie a, does soft corner. Come on. Ronnie does top tier. Look at the de- look at the details. Look at the little pin right here. You can take this out if you want and just have the regular Sherpa on it if you want to. These are Kif. Y'all know I look. I got like 10 pair of Kif jeans. They're like my for bang for buck. I think I'm the wrong person to be talking about. No, listen, because you could get a $1,000 pair of jeans. I think mm. for 250 they make the best jean in that. Like, you, whose jeans Uh-oh. is better? At that you price, know, at 250 Don't sound weird. I'm shaped differently. So, Suvi fits me. <laughs> what? Who? Suvi. Suvi. The way these are taped. Look how they tape her yeah. down at the Same leg. Place. Yeah, I never heard of that. The de the, the de stress reconstruction. See, that shit don't fit my budget. See, the shit fits you good, but it don't fit Nobody my budget. Like I'll be looking cool, but I'll be stressed out because I just spent like a thousand dollars on some fucking clothes. Yeah, but they last though. Yeah, they we just not, yeah. bro. I don't own. I don't own some of the shit that I have right. on for like a long time. They <laughs> <laughs> last. <laughs> what even need? Y'all act like niggas. The quality on these a little different. On a line or some shit every day. I'm just, I'm just fucking with y'all. I, I get it, and I like the shit. Like, I like, I would wear all the shit you got on. Thanks, bro. But I'm saying, like, mm, yeah. t-shirt, John Elliott. You know, yeah, yeah. John I'm slight. I love John Elliott. I think once I start making like 
Because I make good money, but once I even make more money or triple money or whatever, I'm still going to be wearing but that's, the same shit. But that's what you're into. Yeah. Right? Y'all have known yeah. me forever, and this is always mm-hmm. what I've been into. That's, I'm no, not I get doing it. nothing different. I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I remember when you had Galaxy Tees. You never seen I'm just fucking with you, bro. So what? <laughs> you got seriously Galaxy You never seen Who the seen fuck you talking to? <laughs> you never seen I remember seeing Kadeem out in the corner asking for money. I remember that shit. What? <laughs> Look, he's, he's disgusted if with I the thought. Have I ever seen that shit? I always just get out the car and start baking this nigga. No, you I'm have to. I'm no, frying no, him. No, 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 I'm, no, I'm, I'm frying this. No, I'm frying him, though. I'm not frying him. I'm not frying him. Frying him. <laughs> what if I was down bad? You gonna fry me? Where's, yeah, that's crazy. Where's Kith at now? <laughs> <laughs> Should have sold some of them fucking bags, nigga. <laughs> I would have I would have sold the bags before I went down like that. No, nah, I believe it. go down like that. That's crazy. All right, so why do y'all think people are materialistic? The look. Everything is for the look, bro. Girls buying CLA. No shade to anybody that bought a CLA or a GLA. Mercedes made those vehicles and the Audi A3 and all that for people to be like, yo, I want to get into this brand, but I have Honda Accord money. Okay. They don't ride the same. They're not the same. <laughs> Nothing about that car is the same. But to other people, you getting it because it's a Benz. Okay. In my world, it's not. So yeah, for where people. Where I was at, this dude pulled up on me. He had an A5. Mm. We got the same car. <laughs> nah, bro, mine got the RS on there. No. I can I can roll with that because I do believe that a lot of car companies do that. They do. That you want to you want to get but people into your brand longer so they stay longer. It's yeah. the fact that I think a lot of these companies know that y'all are just gonna run to the label or the the yeah, logo no, or so shit. I would start doing this. I think so Apple started doing that at a market. certain point in time. I think Apple started yeah. spreading out. They Apple spreading out first their, made uh, the phone and it was only on AT and T. So really, you had to have good credit to get AT and T. And then they was at first they were selling the phone. You had to buy it full price. Mm. But you, anything that's coming to the market, you want to mass appeal. So mm. then they start. All right, well, we'll do a lower tier phone. We'll do uh, two different phones. Man. We'll give them to all the carriers. We'll let the carriers subsidize the price. Uh, XS. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to say that, and I'm in a technology world, so I know technology changes all the time. But I would like to say that Apple has a lot of these features, way, way, way way well in advance to the point where they probably could have came out with that phone two years ago. You Why know what I'm saying? I think that? that's, but that's what I'm saying. I think sample. So you come back. I, exactly. But that's what I'm saying. They know that and they know they can give you a, a, a purposely watered down product. Cause I don't care how you spin it. That's a purposely watered down product. Step yeah. Just because you're going you to run, you're going to run to it. You got to. So it's like, they gave you the pure. Now they're right. like, nah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. They gonna cut it a little now bit. Come back for this step. <laughs> come back for this step. No, I understand like, it, and it's, it's, it's smart. Like it's smart. Business. It's smart business. I'm not. I'm not trying to shit on the business aspect. I'm talking about from a person who's spending their whole fucking life to go get the phone, and you're still paying off an iPhone 10. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about that. I'm talking to those people. Like if I ran a business, yeah, I'm gonna be like, hey, bro, we got this to give. Like let's put it in my aspect. I, I'm a, I'm trying to write a book. I could probably have three books like done right now, but no, I'm a, I'm gonna get y'all like that. I'm not going to just give y'all everything yeah, and then, like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, no, I get time. it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But I'm saying to the people that are breaking and their backs for certain shit. they give us a three-for-one deal for the niggas exactly. that didn't get all three books. Bundle deal. Hey, bro, yeah. I just don't understand it. I understand Lux. it on y'all end. <laughs> the Deluxe. Shit got a couple extra chat. I'm just talking to the person that got LV and Gucci and all that shit on their top ten priority list. Like, some people have that shit in their top ten priority they list. They do because they like the way it looks or they want certain people to look at them a certain way. To me, that shit don't make me be like, oh, shit. You look X. Ex- like, I don't I don't look at it like that. It's just clothes for real. What I are, just really like clothes. What other things do you think a person can do to get attention? Huh? Outside of. Abe been us to wrap it up. Okay, go ahead. Well, my bad. And I answered this last question. Dang. He's like, wrap this shit up, man. I'm ready to go. Yeah. yeah. Outside the game of- on. <laughs> God damn. Who winning the game right now? Outside of just yeah. a logo. <sighs> and that's crazy because most of the stuff is logo driven. I got a friend that bought a Amiri jacket. It don't say Amiri nowhere on it. 16-3 Chiefs. And his girl was like, it don't say Amiri on it nowhere? Mm-hmm. And it's like, because you want people to know it's no, Amiri. But if you really just in the clothes, you cool with it not saying that because you like you know, when that shit plastered right here. I've never been a big fan of that. I, I think, especially in our culture, they always, what, what's the saying? Um, fake it till you make it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fake it till you make it. I never believed in that. And I don't believe in it either at but all. I think a mass majority of our people do believe in it because it's like, especially with social media and the internet, I can appear a certain way by just showing you this part of what I'm doing. And you know where that kills us is it goes back to the fact that kids are watching it. 
Oh, for sure. And it goes back to the fact that we talk about we don't show them the process because it's fake it till you make it. Speaking of that, I seen I saw on Instagram. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man, I'm la- last point. Yeah, you I swear, niggas. Abe. I swear. I saw one of these big IG influencers taking a picture on a jet. Hmm. But if you zoom in, you zoom in. They're in a fucking storefront. <laughs> Yeah, uh, parking lot. Shit, At least do the. F- I was like, now I got a friend that did a, a jet photo shoot, but she really was like in a jet. Yeah, but it was you know it was for promotional purposes. But she's an this entrepreneur. Was a no, she's an entrepreneur for sure. Yeah. Anyway, we appreciate y'all. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. What y'all said? Seventy three, episode seventy three. Clubhouse. We appreciate a couple people that got it on a clubhouse with us. We're gonna. Figure out a way to get the audio on. Yeah, shout like out that. to I like that experience. That shout out, shout out to my this phone. Might be a, we might be the new plug for something. Shit held it down. Mm-hmm. My shit at one percent. We have to cook something up. Yeah. All right, guys, we're out. Peace. Peace. Ah.